What's up everybody, Remington Beck from Impulse Creative and today we're gonna to talk about how to create your own custom drift link if it's not available in your playbook. There's a lot of different playbooks that you can choose from, but most of the playbooks that allow for a drift link are connected to a chat bot. And there's a lot of cases where you could want to initiate a chat or want to initiate some kind of a playbook, but it doesn't have a drift link immediately available. So today we're gonna to jump into a real quick tutorial about how you can create your own drift links for any playbook you want. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So what you're gonna see is um, we have created a custom welcome message playbook here. And that custom welcome message is one of the playbook types that doesn't have a drift link available by default. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but one of the things that we wanna do for this particular instance is to launch it if someone was to click a link it allows for you to add a couple little bit of cues rather than just launching the chat pane. But what we can do here is we can start to add some context into what we actually want them to talk about um, in this particular example. So what I've done here is I have a custom welcome message playbook started. I've pre-filled it with, with a quick message here and you'll see that what we want to do is um, you can modify this and put whatever settings you want. In most cases, with this example, you'd want to start a conversation. But as we go down, you're going to want to jump down to audience. When you get to audience, you want to make sure all visitors are selected. And then you would want to go to your display conditions. The display conditions are set to always at first if you choose everyone for your audience. But what we want to do is display with custom targeting. When we display with custom targeting, you'll notice it says URL includes and it's just a, a quote. What we want to do is go ahead and edit that and we want to drop in to the URL path and we want to make URL path includes and this is where you can type in your drift link. So if we type in URL path includes test drift link, You're, you'll see in the example down below it shows you what your input would be. Any particular page you're on that includes this in the URL would then make it so that this chat would pop up. So if we go ahead and press close, you'll see URL path includes pound sign test drift link. Now for the sake of this demo, I'm not gonna set this up as a, as a feature so I can show you how it works, but what we do wanna do is we do wanna make sure that you have a starting a conversation going to a live person only happens when drift is online and then you could make a similar um, button point to an actual chatbot playbook during offline hours it really depends on your overall criteria if we wanted to make it so that it was both that drift link and drift was online you simply would hit drift off to the left here drift online equals true and now your criteria is that they have the test drift link and drift online is true. All right, well, that's the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, have any comments, or you're interested in some help, please feel free to reach out to us. If you're interested in these tutorials and you'd like to subscribe, please do so here. And if you'd like to see some of the other playlists that we've done in regards to the tutorial videos, you can do that right here as well.